It wasn't the phone call I was expecting on a quiet Sunday night in August. Channel surfing at home in a post-dinner slumber as an unknown number a message flashed on my iPhone. It's James Packer here, said the voice, somewhat tersely, on the other end. Caught a little off guard, I responded with yes James, as I quickly gathered my thoughts. I darted a quizzical look at my partner, got off the couch, grabbed my notebook and began what would be one of the strangest 20-minute exchanges I've had in my 27-year career as a journalist. Packer had taken umbrage with my column of the previous day and he had called me, for the first time in two decades of writing about him, to make it absolutely clear, and in no uncertain terms, that he and his fiancée Mariah Carey were the real thing, and that they had a passionate relationship. Indeed, he was at pains to express his admiration not just for the woman but for the performer, too, even recounting her album sales as America's best-selling pop star. He went to great lengths to ensure that I had heard his message loud and clear, and from the noises in the background I could tell he wasn't alone, though I'll never be sure if Carrie was there, too. Eventually we agreed to meet at his office on his next visit to Sydney in a few weeks, to coincide with his attendance at big sister Gretel Packer's 50th birthday, to which he assured me you will be completely safe when I reminded him of our last face-to-face -face meeting. During that interlude he had fired off a barrage of expletives and personally evicted me from his Derby Day marquee, exactly four years ago today.